Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sessions. ng kamay sa ayos ng panunumpa. Panatang makabayan, iniibig ko ang Pilipinas, aking lupang sinilangan, tahanan ng aking lahi, kinukukup ako at tinutulungang maging malakas, masipag at marangal. Dahil mahal ko ang Pilipinas, diringgin ko ang payo ng aking magulang, susundin ko ang tuntuni ng paaralan, Tutuparin ko ang tungkulin ng mamamayang makabayan, naglilingkod, nag-aaral at nagdarasal ng buong katapatan. Iaalay ko, alay ko ang aking buhay, pangarap, pagsisikap sa bansang Pilipinas. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of the Lord. Giver of light and wisdom, thank you for giving me a mind that can know and the heart that can love. Learning every day of my life, no matter what the subject may be, let me be convinced that all knowledge leads to you, and let me know how to find you and love you in all the things you have made. Encourage me when my studies are difficult, and when I am tempted, am tempted to give up. Enlighten me when my brain is slow, and help me to grasp the truth held out to me. Grant me the grace to put my knowledge to use in building a better world. Amen. Mission. We are a private educational institution of choice and a community of professional educators and lifelong learners. In collaboration with our stakeholders, we are committed to providing a caring and stimulating environment that nurtures holistically developed individuals equipped with 21st century skills. Vision. We envision our students to be highly motivated learners with creative and open minds, effective communication skills, adept at responsible use of information, media, and technology, and able to navigate life and career paths with confidence, discipline, and integrity. In partnership with parents in the community, we strive towards the total development of our students that they may reach their fullest potential and become productive members of society in the service of others. Students Oath Number 1 I will set my goals in life and I will acquire the knowledge and skills necessary in order to achieve them. I will work hard and I will never give up, even when difficulties arise. I realize that difficulties are opportunities to better myself through perseverance on my way to success. Number two, as a citizen of the earth, I am a steward of all her bounty and will use her resources with care and responsibility. I will remember that her gifts are to be shared by all, including the generations still to come. Number three, as a youth of my nation, I will be a productive member of my society and work to contribute to the development of my country. I will lead through action and involvement in making my country strong and great. Number four, as a member of my family and as a student of Southeastern College, I will give gratitude to my parents, my parents and teachers, treat everyone with respect and courtesy, do my tasks with discipline and diligence, 
and conduct myself with courage, dignity, and integrity always. I will seek the counsel of my elders when the need arises. Students' Oath number 5 I shall always keep myself, my home, my school, and my environment clean and tidy. I will take care of the things entrusted to me and be responsible for the appropriate use, maintenance, and safekeeping. Number 6 I will build my character through habits of excellence and adopt a righteous way of life in order that I may contribute to peace and harmony in the world. Number 7 I will be a lifelong learner and keep the lamp of knowledge lit forever. I will work hard to develop and grow in mind, body, and spirit. Number 8. I will do my best in all that I do in order that I may be of service to my family, my community, my country, and my God. And now, may we call on Mr. Mark Jason R. Lurin, Class Advisor of Grade 11 ABM for our Value Focus of the Week. Respect for ourselves guides our morals. Respect for others guides our manners. Good morning, Sessions. This week marks the third week of our new school year in the new normal. For the past three weeks, we have met new people. It may be new classmates or new teachers. We are starting to make bond with them as they will be with us for the rest of the school year. Our current situation may be different since everything is happening virtually, but our desire to make new friends and continue our friendship with our old friends should not change. Even we are physically distant to each other, we must maintain our respect to ourselves and others. The way we respect other people must be as important with the way we show respect to ourselves. According to Palvin in 2014, respect is knowing that something or someone is of high value, leading people to give due honor to their values, beliefs, choices, and actions. In the same manner, self-respect means that we value ourselves, and so we listen to our own desires and beliefs, without putting ourselves in harm. Now, Sessions, I want you to reflect. To whom do you give respect? Are you giving respect to those who are in authority? Do you respect those who are older than you? Are you giving respect to those people who have amazing skills and abilities? Aside from these people, we also need to give respect to ourselves. Let us not forget our value or worth as a person. Knowing your value leads you to respect yourselves. The way we value other people for what they have done must be the same in valuing ourselves. We should never forget that every one of us, no matter who you are, we are valuable. And with that, we all deserve respect. Showing respect to yourself and others can build great connections. This is what we call rapport. Rapport is the basis of meaningful, close, and harmonious relationship between people. It is the sense of connection that you get when you meet someone you like and trust. You can say, that you established a good rapport with others when we feel safe with that people when we can understand them with the way they understand us and when they can accept who we are most importantly we know we establish strong and good rapport when we respect each other we can start building respect and rapport with our classmates by having a peaceful environment where everyone feels safe around each other, where we can talk openly about our needs and wants, when it's okay for all of us to express who we are, and when we don't hesitate to admit that we made a mistake. Thank you, Sessions. 
May we continue building great connections and respect with our classmates, teachers, family, and ourselves as we continue learning with this new normal. Sessions, let us all prepare ourselves for the moment of mindfulness. We will use this to strengthen our focus and concentration. Sessions, close your eyes and calm your minds. Don't think of anything else and just focus your attention on your breathing as you inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Continue focusing your attention on your breathing. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good morning sessions. May you have a productive week ahead. Thank you.